Alright, so I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about punks. Uh, most punks these days are actually non-violent, peace-loving vegetarians, but people still see them as those kind of guys. Uh, people also see me as one of those kinds of guys. I prefer to think of myself as one of those kind of guys. Not one of those kind of guys, but one of those kind of guys. You know, like I'm kind of cute, I'm kind of smart, I'm kind of funny, I'm kind of young. Well, oh, I'm 23, but I'm still in college. I'm kind of rough. I'm definitely a peace-loving vegetarian. Regardless, most people see me as one of those kind of guys. Just the other day, I was at Taco Bell and a small child was staring at me. Not a wide-eyed and creepy, just kind of staring, so I smiled at her. And uh, her face went straight and she hid behind her mom. Now some of you are probably thinking something along the lines of, Aw, poor little punk guy. Don't pity me, it happens all the time. Or, aw, poor little girl. Don't pity her, it probably happens all the time. But the rest of you are thinking one of two things. One, you'd want to hide behind your mom too if I smiled at you. Or, two... Taco Bell? I thought you were a vegetarian. If you're in the first category, then fuck you. But for you category tours, I have an answer. See, at Taco Bell, you can get anything that has beef and substitute it for beans. Winning, right? Beans, beans, the magical fruit. The more you eat, the more you... Wrong. Don't get me wrong. I love Taco Bell just as much as the next college kid. It's cheap, it's tasty, it's great trunk food, but that is where it gets you. Let's say you're out partying one night, because duh, it's college, what the fuck else are you gonna do? So you're out, you're drinking a little, you're smoking a little, well, let's be honest, you're probably doing a little too much of both. Well, you got the munchies, and someone in your crew, posse, gang, club, I'm not hit with the dope lingo, puts on their best fake Mexican chihuahua accent and shouts, Yo quiero Taco Bell! So at this point, it's kind of clear that there's really only one thing left to do. You must get to Taco Bell by any means necessary. Planes, trains, cars, buses, taxis, or bicycles for the eco-friendly and or hipster douchebags. Whatever it takes. But let's fast forward in time to the next morning. You wake up, probably late and hungover, for work, for class, for whatever, and you head out to start your day. You're driving along, you light up a cigarette, either because you think you're addicted or you think it'll help with your Taco Bell tummy, and you decide to stop for coffee. Not Starbucks, though. That's way too mainstream for punks. I wonder if we'll pass a Dunkin' Donuts. So you're driving around, you're looking for a not Starbucks, and you pass through the intersection with one on each corner, and then you pull into the Dunkin' Donuts drive-thru to get your drink. A non-fat ice caramel latte with half the amount of ice. Those fuckers always try to cheat me out of coffee with ice, like ice is gonna fix my fucking hangover. You continue driving to wherever it is you may or may not be late to, when all of a sudden, SHIT! The explanation was not because you spilled coffee on your crotch, it was not because you just shit yourself, it's because you think you're gonna. And there are three kind of shits that just can't wait. Vodka shits, Taco Bell shits, and coffee and cigarette shits. Clearly, this one just couldn't wait. On a panic mode, you start weaving in and out of traffic. Thank God I didn't hit that box. It could have been full of babies or kittens or puppies. You pull into the nearest gas station. It's, of course, the gas station with the most disgusting bathroom ever. You park your car on an angle over three spots, and you run inside screaming, Get the fuck out of my way! I gotta shit right now! Ten minutes later, you walk out of the bathroom, and everyone's staring at you. Now, I can't speak for everyone, but it's at this point in the story where I have the revelation. Oh, this is why people think I'm one of those kind of guys.